everybody and welcome to another Threnatia webinar video. My name is Kyle and I'm a business developer here at Threnatia and we're going to be covering how to market the campaign. This is part two. If you haven't seen part one, you can look in the description and we'll add a link there so you could watch part one first. But part two is going to be how to market the campaign and the topics that we're going to be covering are understanding your target audience, how to launch the campaign, and then choosing the marketing methods. So understanding your target audience, this is very key, um, especially in the research uh, phase. So before any marketing, you wanna know the type of person that's gonna purchase your product or be a part of your business idea. So figure out where do they spend their time? And when I say this, I mean, where do they spend their time online? Because all of your marketing is gonna be online. You wanna know which social media platforms are gonna be on, what sites they visit, etc etc so what do they like um, what do they don't like um, but make sure you know exactly what they do like because then you can figure out which different platforms are on which pages they're following um, different YouTube channels that they watch etc uh, gather as much information as possible as you're going to use this information for your marketing strategies now how to launch the campaign this is specific to when to launch the campaign. Um, you wanna figure out when your target audience is searching for your product using Google Trends. Um, now, if it's a new invention, there might not be an actual search um, for that specific invention, but use similar products um, for the Google Trends so you can see when they're searching for this product the most, and then you can strategically create a pre-launch campaign uh, strategy as a build up to the launch date, right? So maybe a month before, and then the launch date should be when, they're, when your target audience is searching for those um, keywords the most, and that's when they're looking for your product the most. So make sure that you maybe a month or two months before your launch date, create your pre-launch strategy, and then launch the campaign. Next is choosing the marketing methods. Now, of course, this is a general overview and you need to do more research to see which method um, is going to work best for you and how to actually uh, deploy that marketing strategy or that method. So typically, a lot of crowdfunding campaigns are using email marketing. Um, so you got to create the pre-launch campaign and that's usually a contest of some sort um, just to generate a list of potential backers emails, right? You're, you're want to create some sort of contest, they click on a link that sends them to a landing page where they enter their email address and you can gather as much of those as possible. Um, of course, you could do this a month or two in advance of the, uh, of the actual launch date of the campaign. Um, so you're gonna use that list of email, um, a list of emails for your different marketing methods. Um, just to go over the social media marketing, there's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, those are typically the avenues that people take when they're using um, social media marketing. What you can do with the list of emails is use Facebook uh, marketing where you can import your list of uh, emails and then create a lookalike audience and, and market that way. Um, that's not the best way to do uh, marketing as you can also pay influencers that your target audience is looking at. So for instance, if your target market are millennials and they're on Instagram most of the time, uh, they may all be looking at a similar Instagram page or following a similar Instagram page. Now what you can do is pr uh, pay to have your product or, or your campaign um, be featured on that page uh, all they have to do is swipe up on their phone or click on a link in the in the bio and then go on to your crowdfunding campaign so you can use the influencers on those social um, platforms or you can just simply pay that platform um, depending on the list of uh, backers or potential backers that you've created with your email marketing strategy <clears throat> So to go over that process, it's, it's step one is generate the email list. Step two is choose the platform and the method. 
and there might be multiple platforms that you're using and multiple methods that you're using. So if you are using multiple, you want to analyze the results. So you can use Google Analytics. Um, it's a simple HTML code that you copy and paste onto your website or, or PHP code. Um, and then you can actually analyze the results and see which ones and which methods are performing the best and then duplicate what works best. So uh, other resources that you can use could be a campaign manager. Um, this is great if they have experience, previous experience with successful campaigns and there's also press releases. A lot of the times people wanna use multiple press releases right when the campaign's launched and then while the campaign is running, um, it's not easy. So a lot of the times a campaign manager uh, before uh, in the pre-launch uh, phase may be knocking on a lot of doors to see which um, which news site or which other sites are going to be a good place to uh, release um, to the press about your actual campaign. Um, and knocking on more doors is, is much better and they may be doing a lot of that rather than yourself. So once the campaign is launched, you can show, hey, we already have a lot of traction. And then once they add that onto their uh, website and feature your campaign on their website, you'll get even more traction. So a lot of the, um, a lot of the success comes from the actual marketing, not so much the product as crowdfunding comes from good marketing strategies. You don't have to have the best product and the product's not going to get um, the campaign viral itself. So you need to be doing most of that work. And this is just a general overview of what type of methods you could use. And then what you have to do is research which one's going to be the best and then research how to actually deploy that method. So I hope this video helps um, you guys in the future. My name is Kyle and I want to say thank you guys for watching.